Good evening. For the record, this public hearing is being conducted by the Florida Department of Transportation. It is being held at the Sanborn Activity and Event Center, 815 South Alabama Avenue in Deland, Florida, at 5.30 p.m. on August 29, 2017, and is for proposed improvements to State Road 44 over the St. Johns River Bridge. This public hearing is conducted in accordance with Chapter 23, United States Code 128, Title 40, Code of Federal Regulations, Parts 1500 through 1508, and Section 339.155, Florida Statutes. This hearing is being held in accordance with Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and Title VIII of the Civil Rights Act of 1968, as amended. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns relative to FDOT compliance with Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, FDOT District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by phone at 386-943-5367 or via email at jennifer.smith2 at dot.state.fl.us. Forms are available for you in English, Spanish, and Haitian Creole, with both the local and state Title VI coordinator contact information. All inquiries or complaints will be handled according to FDOT procedure and in a prompt and courteous manner. As you have probably seen, FDOT staff and design team members are here to discuss your concerns and answer your questions. Team members can be distinguished by their name tags. There are also graphics on display for your review. Please feel free to discuss any project issues you have with the design team. Your input is very important to us. When you arrive this evening, you are offered a newsletter handout and a fact sheet containing information about the project and proposed improvements. If you did not receive a newsletter or fact sheet, you can pick one up at the sign-in table during the upcoming intermission. This presentation provides a broad overview of issues the Florida Department of Transportation will be addressing during the design phase of the project and information on the proposed improvements. The project begins at County Road 42 in Lake County and extends to east of Edstone Park in Volusia County. Through the project limits, State Road 44 is a two-lane rural roadway and also serves as a hurricane evacuation route. The stakeholders in the area include Lake County, Volusia County, the City of Deland, adjacent public lands such as Ocala National Forest, state-owned property, Edstone Park, and various permitting agencies. Private property owners such as St. John's Marina, Shady Oaks Restaurant and Bait Shack, and Duke Energy are also key stakeholders. A project development and environment, also known as a PD&E study, was completed in 1991, which studied the widening of 27 miles of State Road 44 from U.S. Highway 441 in Lake County to State Road 15A in Volusia County. The evaluation of the State Road 44 bridge, also known as the Whitehair Bridge, was included in this study. The study proposed that the roadway be widened to four lanes through the entire project limits. In 2000, a Planning and Environmental Management Office, also known as a PLEMO study, was completed and the results indicated that only two lanes are needed in the vicinity of the State Road 44 bridge over the St. Johns River. A second PD&E study was completed in 2004, which recommended the replacement of the bridge with a fixed span structure with 45-foot vertical clearance over the main river channel. Since the most recent PD&E study was completed over 10 years ago, a PD&E reevaluation was completed in 2016 to document changes to the approved design concept. The reevaluation was required to proceed to the right of way acquisition phase of the project. The existing Francis P. Whitehair Bridge, built in 1955, is a bascule bridge that carries State Road 44 over the St. Johns River. The St. Johns River is the longest river in the state of Florida and has significant commercial and recreational use. The current bridge is functionally obsolete and needs frequent and costly repairs. The project is located in a beautifully unique part of the state, crossing the St. Johns River near public lands and surrounded by environmentally sensitive lands. In addition, protected and endangered species are identified within the limits of the project. 
Considering the involvement of these natural resources, the design and construction of the bridge replacement will incorporate avoidance and minimization techniques to reduce impacts and enhance the environment. The proposed improvements include reconstructing the two-lane bridge and approaches. In addition, the signal at the County Road 42 intersection will be replaced and the access road to St. John's Marina will be relocated. Access changes to Edstone Park, St. John's Marina, Old New York Avenue, and Shady Oaks will be included as part of this design project. Improvements also include new stormwater ponds and safety enhancements. The bridge will be designed to accommodate a future 12-foot wide multi-use trail. The roadway will remain a two-lane rural facility that includes paved shoulders. In order for the bridge to provide a 45-foot vertical clearance over the river, the roadway grade will rise substantially, requiring the use of retaining walls. Within these elevated roadway sections, the shoulder width will increase to 12 feet and space will be provided to accommodate a future multi-use trail. The bridge typical section will include two 12-foot travel lanes with 10-foot shoulders. The bridge will also provide a 12-foot wide area to accommodate a future multi-use trail. On the Lake County side of the project, the existing access road to the St. John's Marina is located approximately 800 feet east of County Road 42. The new access road will be located at County Road 42, creating a four-legged, signalized intersection. On the Volusia County side of the project, the existing access road to Edstone Park and St. John's Marina is located on the north side of State Road 44 at Old New York Avenue. The new access road will be located on the south side of State Road 44, approximately 800 feet east of the existing access road. Since the new bridge approach will be significantly elevated, access to the park and marina will be beneath the new approach. Under normal conditions, the existing bascule bridge only provided 15 feet of vertical clearance above the river. As taller boats and sailboats navigate the river, the existing bridge has to be open to allow their passage. The new bridge will provide 45 feet of clearance above the normal high water level of the St. John's River. Today, untreated stormwater runoff from the road and bridge discharged directly to the St. John's River. With the replacement of the bridge and the elevated bridge approaches, two stormwater management ponds are proposed in the unused land areas beneath the new bridge. These ponds will provide water quality treatment and meet permitting criteria for the improvements. There are several permitting agencies involved, including the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, U.S. Coast Guard, St. John's River Water Management District, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and the National Marine Fisheries Services. Extensive data gathering activities such as surveying, soil testing, wetland assessments, and investigation of protected wildlife have been completed. Our engineers are finalizing the design of the roadway features, identifying stormwater treatment and permitting needs, and determining environmental impacts due to the proposed improvements. We are currently approaching the 90% stage of completion, and your input is very important to us. The current schedule involves design, permitting, and construction plans to be completed in the spring of 2018. Right-of-way acquisition is funded in fiscal years 2018 and 2019. Construction of the improvements is currently funded in fiscal year 2020. The Florida Department of Transportation recognizes that the success of any transportation improvement is dependent upon a successful public outreach effort. A community awareness plan was developed to establish and maintain a strategy for public and stakeholder involvement in the design project. Public notification and project updates are provided through the project newsletter, public notices, a news release, and project website. This public hearing is being held to connect with stakeholders and obtain input regarding the proposed improvements. Public comments for this project will be documented in the public involvement record for this project. In a few minutes, you will have an opportunity to step to the microphone and offer verbal comments about the proposed improvements to State Road 44. Your comments will become part of the official public hearing transcript. You may also complete a comment form this evening and drop it in the box provided. Or if you prefer, you may mail us your comments. The mailing address is provided on the comment form. You may also provide your comments electronically. The email address is provided on the comment form. Or you may visit the project website and submit your comments there 
through an email to the project manager. All exhibits or statements postmarked on or before Friday, September 8, 2017, will become part of the public hearing record. If you would like more information about the project, please contact Kathleen Enot, FDOT Project Manager, or visit the project website at www.cflroads.com. Thank you for your interest and participation in this project. We encourage you to review the plans and documents on display during the upcoming intermission. If you would like to speak during the public testimony portion of tonight's hearing, please fill out a speaker card. Our moderator will provide you with more information.